I was literally uh, 10 years old when the first Baja 1000 was introduced. And um, I grew up in the area of Malcolm Smith and um, only dreamed of, you know, just riding my motorcycle, following the same footsteps as him. And uh, here we are, you know, 30 or 40 years later and um, still living the dream, you know. It's, uh, it's really been an incre incredible ride. Our sport is so unique, it's never the same. It's always different. Every corner, I mean, you can pre-run 10 times, but come race day, it's different. You know, the dust, the rocks, the traffic, bottlenecks, the, the, the locals, you know, it's just, it's such a challenge. And um, I mean, you do, you prepare, you do everything you can to be ready for those challenges. And uh, I mean, it's just the ultimate man and machine and, and, and not only physically, but mentally. Tell us about your day. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know if I have enough time. <laughs> Going from motorcycles to cars, uh, you know, it just got to a point where, I mean, racing in Mexico, the speeds that we're going, um, it's a little bit of like a Russian roulette. You know, you, you know you're taking some chances. And, and uh, in 94, I won overall with Ty Davis and Danny Hamill. It made it a number 10 win for me, and I thought that's a nice round number. And I, um, I told my manager at Kawasaki, I think I just want to stop right here. And um, Unfortunately, the very next year, Danny Hamill, great up-and-coming rider, you know, he had an accident leaving Ensenada. It took his life, you know, so, I mean, it gives me goosebumps to think about it. Rossler's a badass, what do you say? I mean, he's won more Baja 1000s than anybody. And uh, you don't do that by accident. You, you know, you have to really know what you're doing. But Rossler is phenomenal. What a talent. I mean, uh, never count him out. I don't care when he turns 80 watch out. Larry to this day still wants to win. He can still ride better than 95 percent of the guys in the class and probably can still probably win in, in the class 22 class if he went out there. This guy is a machine. He pre-runs on his bike and uh, this guy should have way more wins in the truck class if he had you know the, the opportunity to do that. Now you probably know Baja better than anybody. You've got a ton of wins down there, mostly on motorcycle. What is the attraction about? What makes guys like you go down there? We can never figure this out. You know, it's the test of man and machine and the elements, and uh, that's what keeps bringing us back.